Now for the Bitcoin and yes, I'm going to share with you why exactly my analysis on the 45 minutes was not working and why and how I made it better by analyzing other time frames and exactly what are my views on Bitcoin. Because you guys, you asked me and now I'm going to share with you on TradingView. Let me, let's not waste time and go exactly right to TradingView and guys, if you analyze this chart by going to the daily chart and what i told you guys i've been telling you guys that this is not a very good uh indicator the one that they developed for uh analyzing bitcoin on the daily chart it doesn't really give you a very uh, good signal because if you guys by the way there is a huge typhoon here in hong kong i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you later but anyways so here guys if you see that this was the signal for uh, right here, right? It was a signal that said, okay, from now, like this moment, the it was a bullish signal and you should close your uh, bearish trade, okay? But if you close it here, okay, if you close it here, it's already, you would have already lost this much, okay? And the idea would be for you to close at this level, okay, of course which take place takes place like around here right so let me okay let me just get rid of this so guys the for this chart okay if you could let me just okay if you could close your trade here if you enter bearish okay if you entered a sell position somewhere when this uh, red cloud started which would be somewhere here okay so if you sold it uh, the best price would be around this area, which would be 29,000, okay? But of course, like now you can tell because you see a huge area of accumulation, but before you couldn't, right? Uh, maybe around here you could see that, well, price was not going anywhere, it was accumulating here. So you could have closed it here if you followed PVSRA. If you didn't and you were waiting for the cloud to turn green again you ha you would have closed it somewhere here okay which is not that bad not that bad because you would have made all this much money okay so it's not that bad but it's not ideal and what i say about these uh, signals guys for being like sometimes it's not really like it's too late for example like here guys it's giving me this uh, red cloud which indicates a bearish signal but price is going up a lot okay so this is a rally that's going on and it's been happening here uh, so this moment guys if you entered a bearish trade if you entered a short here you would have you would be losing money now right because this signal was not accurate so that's why i say to you guys once again let me go back to my camera so that's why you guys that you have to understand that sometimes uh, the signal is too lagging it's, it's too late okay so the signal happens takes place showing you oh there is a bearish uh, opportunity but then you, you 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 sell it and right after you sell it is going up like hell so it's really like you really have to watch out on the daily chart especially for crypto and this uh, indicator by the way is an indicator that i made for cryptocurrency more specifically for bitcoin so you need to watch out if you are going to trade on a daily chart i wouldn't okay i was watching the signal for the 45 minute chart and now I have found another time frame that maybe is even better than that, which is the two hour chart. Let's take a look at that. So we are going back to the charts. Let me tell you and let me show you on the 45 minute chart, guys. So the 45 minute chart, you can see a few times that it was showing me like, for example, like here, guys, it was showing me like an opportunity to go short. But price actually went up okay so this is one uh, time when it didn't work and uh, here as well it didn't work right guys because it showed me a signal to go long but actually price went down okay and now it's uh, now it's showing me to go short okay but price is going up again so so for this one i'm not really sure because i need to wait and see how it will go but uh, for example guys like here here was a, a, 
a big rally with these can you see guys okay uh, so can you guys see this very long cloud okay it's a very long uh, bullish cl cloud is a green cloud and right here gave me the signal so if I open here I would have been able to get all this profit because it only turned red here so what I would be I would be able to get all this profit from this area up to this area okay but before the the problem guys is before that because it gave me a false signal here it gave me another false signal here it gave me let me see here was a bit tricky because let me okay let me put this up okay so here guys uh okay let's say that this didn't turn red okay so i would have been able to uh, get all this money up to here when it finally turned red and if this signal started here guys like right here okay so price was already up a lot when it gave me the green signal for this green cloud okay price was already up a lot and then made a correction okay so if you follow pvsra you probably have uh, entered during the correction because you th you would have thought that probably this is a zigzag pattern on PVSRA. So if you waited here and entered here, you would have been able to make all this money up to here. Okay, guys. So this is what happens on the 45 minute chart. On the two hour chart, though, is even more interesting. Why do I say so? Is because on the two hour chart, guys, you can see that uh, price is not correcting. So the signal, we get rid of a lot of fake signals, okay, a lot of false signals. And we can get uh, on the rally, like in the very beginning of the movement, okay? So right here, guys, when he gave me this uh, signal, okay, for the bullish cloud, for the bu bullish cloud, price was still here, was still being traded at 43K, 43,000, guys. And if you enter there, you would have been able to get all this profit, all this profit up to now, actually, because there is no red cloud yet. OK, so the cloud hasn't turned red yet. So you would be still in the trade. OK, so you'd be still with your trade open. Right, guys. And this is a very good one to look at. So let's see if it gave me any false signals. So before that, guys, it gave me a false signal here. Okay. So it was a bearish signal and price went up. So this is a, fa a false signal, I would say. This would be also a false signal. This is also, yeah, if you entered here, so here it depends. If you close it here, this would be a win. But if you didn't close it here and you waited, this would be a loss. Okay, so it depends on how you set your uh, profit target, right? So if you set according to PVSRE, because if you look at PVSRE, this is a very big area of uh, accumulation, right? So if you follow PVSRE, probably we would have closed it here. If you didn't follow PVSRE, then you would have uh, it, you would have closed your trade with a loss, probably. Uh, this is another false signal, okay? These guys, this one, this red cloud here is actually a very good signal. And why? Let me push it down and show you guys. Oops. So guys, here, uh, let me, okay. And oops, let me just, uh, okay. I just got rid of my, where's my signal again? Well, I don't have my signal here. Okay, sorry guys, but this would have been a very nice signal because it, it was a very big uh, bearish cloud and we would have been able to catch all this profit, okay? From the beginning until the end of the cloud, okay? So guys, the message today is whatever you, every have this kind of signal, especially on uh, the daily charts, so don't follow. I, I'm not following the daily chart for this uh, indicator, in specific for this indicator. So what I'm doing is to change to the two hour chart and see how the signal uh, works, how this indicator works. It gives me uh, more like very good uh, rallies, okay, to take. So when there is a, a rally and can tell me, okay, so this is the, the very beginning of a rally and I can take the trade and then 
I, I have to, of course, I have to subtract the times then when he gave me a fake, like a false signal, okay? So for the false signals, you have to understand and you have to learn how to minimize your losses because just before you saw that we gave me like, what, four, three or four, maybe four uh, false signals. So if you control the losses on those four signals, and then for two signals that went right, it went really right because it gave us a rally for both of them. So there were two rallies where you could get a lot of, you could have made a lot of money. So you could have gotten a huge profit from those two trades. And for those four trades, you have to understand, you have to learn how to minimize our losses. So if you control that, then uh, you can make very successful trades just by using this indicator, okay? I'm going to share this indicator with you guys in the following days. So stay tuned here on the channel and please write any comments in the comment section below. Did you like this video? Do you want me to continue? Do you want me to stop it? Let me know. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.